We're also going to end up getting some colder temperatures, and that's because of a cold front that's actually sitting in North Texas right now. So we're keeping our eye on it as it's bringing some shower and thunderstorm chances back into our region. So similar to what we saw yesterday, most of this stuff is kind of sitting out in our far westernmost counties, but a lot of it is beginning to kind of fizzle out before it really makes it far east enough to the I-35 corridor. Now the I-35 corridor has plenty of cloud cover that's keeping us nice and warm to start off the day. I'm also watching the chance for a couple of excuse me, isolated showers and thunderstorms right now kind of moving toward Hubbard. Little strikes of lightning here and there. Overall, not too terribly bad as you zoom out. You can see the chance for some isolated showers kind of pushing their way past Centerville well to the east of I-45. We're going to keep our eye on it. Of course, I'm not expecting anything crazy severe or even significant, but of course we'll still watch it. Hey, a lot of this rain kind of just stopping at this invisible line. Trace amounts across the region, not enough to really measure anything, at least at the airport. So you're starting off your Tuesday. It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be muggy and it's going to stay mostly cloudy and pretty muggy throughout the day. Highs I only have maxing out at about 90 degrees, so I'm not going to complain about that. There is a small chance for those isolated showers. Most of that is just going to stay out to the west and it's going to be right about there before it hits that line and just goes away. But you know what? I haven't done your daily memes in a while. That fresh feeling when a car speeds past you in the rain. Yeah, we're going to be going back to that kind of pattern where we're seeing a lot more rain and possibly even some localized flooding given our drought situation. But you know what? I, I feel just about as happy as that. Nonetheless, though, all right, 20% chance of rain. Follow my Facebook for a full timeline breakdown of exactly when we can expect these storms to push through your area in Central Texas. Isolated storms for tonight, 70 degrees, 40% chance of those showers and thunderstorms. Most of that here it is. It's not going to be coming in in the afternoon. It's going to be coming in right around midnight. Hill County, Meridian, even Comanche. Then it starts to push its way into McLennan County right around 3 a.m. Stronger little thunderstorms, nothing on the severe side, so I'm not going to complain overly too much about it. Some of it even pushing its way into Bell County right around Colleen Temple by around 6 a.m. and kind of hanging around even 10 a.m. Some stronger stuff, so that's why I do have higher rain chances. Obviously, more of the viewing area is going to see more of that rainfall. Wednesday, similar kind of thing, and even going into your Thursday early in the morning, a lot of that stuff popping up in the northernmost parts of the viewing area, even stretching as far down as Brazos County by the later afternoon on Thursday. So what about severe risk? Well, there isn't any, and that's what's really good about a lot of this. We're not seeing severe thunderstorm chances. We are going to see, you know, maybe some heavy downpours, maybe some strong winds, but really nothing more than that. And of course, if we get as much rain as some of these models are saying, anywhere from half an inch to even over an inch, it's certainly going to be welcome. We are well below average for this time of year. Here's your seven day forecast. Here's when that cold front really starts to push in. That's going to be by tonight into early tomorrow. Temperatures will drop. Models are going as far as those low 80s across some of the region, but I'm not going to go that low just because the majority of us aren't going to see temperatures getting that low. We're going with those mid to upper 80s for the most part. Steady rain chances throughout much of the week until we go into the weekend. It starts to clear back up and also warm back up, but we're not going to be warming up all that much uh, right around those low 90s. That's what we can expect to see around this area for this time of year. So hey, let's enjoy the rain and the cooler temperatures while we can.